The intro sucks shit. Let's try it again. <laughs> hey, folks. Uh, you're watching and listening to the Amazing Vito show here. And I got my good friend TJ, the trucker, uh, who is on the road right now as we speak. Uh, he literally is on the... He's flying. Anyways, TJ, what's up? What's up, brother? Hey, what did you think of... Uh, this is going to be a question. I don't know if you want to answer it. But I'm going to throw it at you. Can you hear me? Yeah. What do you think today with Ukraine and Russia invading them? Do you think that Russia looked at it and that, like everybody, I, I was not in shock when he invaded them. I wasn't in shock. I really wasn't. And why I wasn't in shock was, <clears throat> and I, was I don't think Putin would have done this if Trump was in office. I know people are going to go, I, 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 you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I just don't think with the debacle in, in Afghanistan, uh, it, it, gas was already soaring uh, when he took office. It's going to soar even more now. Um, uh, uh, the whole nonsense that was going, that's been going on for the last two years. Nothing, yeah, nothing but, not, nothing but nonsense. nonsense. It's just nonsense. It, 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 here, you know, it's been nothing about... Uh, wokeness and uh everything's racism and i think they were watching it russia and even china watching this going this is the perfect time to hit these people there's nothing the states are going to do because R russia's playing this game they're playing this game of of i you know i'm the bully i'll slap you around and if you pull out your gun, I'll pull out my nukes. Right. And that, that's, the, that's the problem that, you know, the states and everybody the UK is facing is this, this fucking maniac, um, megalomaniac who, I mean, they thought Trump was a megalomaniac. Putin is just, this guy's murdering people, literally murdering people, innocent people. Uh well, I was just talking to one of my co-workers, and, you know, I'm more or less from New York my whole life. I'm a New Yorker. I live in Jersey, but I spend most of my time in New York. Um, in the 80s, Donald Trump was building tons of buildings in New York City, and he had a deal directly with the mob, the mafia, the real mafia, the Gambinos, John Gotti, you know, Vinny the Chin Gaganti, all of them. All the real guys, he had to deal with them, you know. And, you know, he, there's documentaries out there that they, the mobs just talk about this. We've never, we never seen him do drugs. Um, he always worked with us. You know, he had to pay. He had to. We extorted him. He paid to get his work done. You know, he's a good businessman. You know, we were in the world, not him. But, you know, he did what he had to do. So he had to negotiate with guys like that. You're talking about stone cold killers. Stone cold killers. So, you know, nothing has come out ever about that association with Trump. You know, and that to me tells me everything. You know, yeah. Uh, was he a pussy hound? Absolutely. He's a millionaire. You know? Billionaire. So, yeah. Billionaire, right. Billionaire. And, uh, Plus, he was his thing, and that's the end of it, you know. But yeah, no, but that, else, that's, but that's their TJ. But that's their go-to. It's just like, listen, everybody, everybody that that talks to me, that I'm Canadian. They're like, oh, you're a Trumper. I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm I'm a realist. Hey, I, 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 I I stand I'm back. And, I I stand back and look at everything and go, is this for real? Like like when you don't said that, you know, Trump is like, what are you talking about? It's, it's, that's Canada. What, what does Trump have to do with anything with you, Do you know, like, you know? okay, okay, you're, you're a trucker. Of course, you could see that. But it, the, the, the thing is, the truckers don't trust the media at all. And yesterday... I don't either. I don't either. I, don't, but here, I could see why, though. I could see why. The, uh, yesterday, you know what they did on the news? 
they go a, a white guy, a, a black guy was shot in a predominantly white area. What the fuck's that even mean? I mean, there was a, uh, there was a, a white guy shot in a, in a, in a predominantly black area. They didn't say that. Like they're, 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 they're like, it's like the media wants people to just fight each other and other countries like Russia and China watch this and go, look how weak these guys are. Look how incredible you, 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 you got, you, you got, uh, what, Matt Walsh going on TV. Uh, what well, he was on, uh, uh, what was it Dr. Phil? I saw the other day. I don't watch Dr. Phil, but I was watching a clip of it and he's trying to talk to the, these two, one guy was dressed like, like a woman and the other guy was dressed up like a, the girl was dressed up like, like a girl. Uh, the girl was dressed up like a guy. It was a, like, okay, whatever you want to do, TJ. I don't care. But that should not be news. Oh, that, no, that, sure. You know what I mean? Like, that. that is where other countries have people that just watch what we do and sit there and go, look at what these people are fighting about. They're fighting about, I mean, when I, I talked to a, a lady, she actually, we had a Zoom meeting. And then she called me on the phone and she goes like, TJ, she goes like this to me. She goes, so uh, what do you want to be called? He, him, her. And I'm like, I'm like, like, am I not the ugliest chick on the planet? Like what, 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 what are you talking about? She goes, well, I have to ask you that. Are you, are they doing that in Russia and China when they call people up, you know, like, 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 do they do that? Like I understand, oh, hey. dude, dude, I understand. Don't hurt people's feelings. I get that, but but it gets to the point where you just become a pussy. Exactly. And and, exactly. and pussies don't win anything. They don't. No. Even if you know, even if you can't, you know, if you're gonna say something, you need to be able to back it up, you know, especially at that level, like Putin and uh, Biden. Like he said it. He's afraid of me. Like he, he, you know, he kind of poked the bay. You know, like Biden came in and instead of trying to, you know, talk to this guy right away, he's with the threats. You know, oh, he, you know, he, he ain't gonna stand up to me. I'll do this. I'll do that. And then he, he gives up the pipeline, which is the fucking. That is the number one thing. Is that energy flowing into fucking Europe? Yeah. So if it keeps flowing. He's going to make billions, and uh, you know, it doesn't make sense if we're protecting Europe, but Europe is paying him billions to amass weapons against us. So, why the fuck are we getting involved in something? You know, he should have never opened that pipeline, and he should have, you know, dealt with them. You know, all right, let's try to work something out, but just to give it up the way he gave it up. Yeah, but, but 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 you know what? The media will call you uh, uh, a conspiracy theorist for saying that. I mean, it's I mean, so, it's so stupid. It, like it's it's like, dude, it's it's like I don't know because I don't believe anything I see on TV from any channel or anything. That's that's I don't the, I don't trust anything. Dude, I know it's getting to the point where I look at stuff and I have to I have to sit there and watch. I have to watch. This is you know I watch. Okay. CBC, then I'll watch uh, a little bit of, I have to, just CNN, uh, then I'll watch Fox, then I'll watch BBC, then I'll watch BBC Sky, and then you have to put all everything together. I'll even watch Al Jazeera. I'll put everything together and just go, and then make up my own conclusion, and that should not be the case, dude. Right, right. You know, it's- right, it, 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 I can't make sense of any of it, yeah. and- um, to complain about it, to actually, like, I go home in the morning and my, I, I'll drive my son to work and I'll start screaming in a car because he pays no attention to politics. But he did say a couple of weeks ago when he got a big paycheck, he's like, wow, and he took $600 out of my paycheck. And like, oh, now you're fucking paying attention. Yeah. You know what I mean? And now here's the next question. Where is that money going? You need to know where your money, where your hard-earned tax dollars are going. And where's it going? It's a stupid shit. 
Yeah. yeah. They're spending money they don't fucking have. Yeah. So this is this is this is coming down to two years of lockdown, right? And then before, when that happened, you remember when what happened with George Floyd? That was like an explosion, right? You had rioting, nonstop rioting every city of you know, Chicago, Seattle. Rioting with fires, violence, and death. Yes. Yes. Now, the protest in Canada, Teamsburg. Children were there. They protested the right way. Look what happened. Okay. That didn't happen in the United States where it should have been stopped right there. You cannot, you know, they were burning down the people building, police station, everything. They did nothing. You know, and now all of a sudden, you know, these people are protesting peacefully. And what do they do? They go after them. They, they bankrupt them. It's amazing. I, I, I'm in shock. I really am in shock. And I'm very, like, his attitude and the way he spoke. Now, I don't understand how the Canadian government works. I watched the clip where he made the comment about the, the flags and the couple people got up and said that their families were the Holocaust. And he just, his attitude at that moment spoke volumes to me. Well, when he said, wait, wait, teacher, the volume's a little screwed up because he's in the truck. When, what do you mean? When they said that the there were Nazis uh, with, upside, with the swastika? Listen, I'll tell you what that was, okay? That was one idiot that they picked out of, out of the thousands that were there. One idiot, okay? And the swastika had Trudeau's face on it. It meant, it meant Trudeau is the Nazi, not us. You, like people, m most rational people could figure this out, you know. But that's why the media, the media was trying everything in their power, TJ, to go and talk to people, and they were getting yelled at, spit on, go away. You know what I mean? And I, I actually felt bad for the reporters out there because they're they're kind of th these guys aren't multimillionaires. They're trying to do their job, but they're taking orders. And they, you know what I mean? It's like it's like you uh, uh, shooting up a store. I'm your I'm your uh, uh, brother, and I go in there and apologize to the family. They're they're gonna punch me in the head. They have zero respect for me. You know. Yeah, it's, it's just like, listen, man. It's you know this is regular people. I I have not stopped working since the pandemic started, um, and. Neither have they, those truckers up in Canada. You know, they were getting, they were doing their job. And once they said something about, you know, they had a problem with something, right away, they were just shut down totally, you know, and made to look like they were, you know, just assholes. But oh, they were treated the like, dude, they were treated like terrorists. But here, here, here's the, the day, they kept the, they kept the country going. During this whole fucking pandemic, now that you know, like, like I, I like it's over. the only thing I felt bad for <laughs> was the 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 residents, the people that lived in that area where the trucks were, they were kind of screwed because you know they had like you know uh, people blowing horns and these people are trying to sleep. It was hard to go for, to go to work. Um, I felt bad for them. But the 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 you, you know like my so husband. So did the truckers. Yeah. I, you know, so did the truckers. They yeah. weren't they weren't dead to cause the problem. Yeah, ninety percent of the, yeah ninety percent of the truckers felt like bad for them, you know. But listen, they're they you know if you park your if your house is close to where the treatment plant is, and you're protesting the treatment plant, then it kind of sucks. So I, my heart goes out to those people and, uh, you know, I, I, you got, I, now they're going to sue the truckers. It's, it's a mess, dude. It's just, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it sounds mess. Like it. it's a it mess, like it. but you know what it does though, TJ, it does this. It says, if you want to, if you want to peacefully protest now, you're still going to get, in shit. you're still going to get in shit. No, here's what it is. If we don't agree what you're protesting against, we will shut it down. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's the bottom line. Yeah. If it's Black Lives Matter in the United States, they will they would they would never, you know, do what they did to these people that they did in Canada. They wouldn't bankrupt them. They wouldn't dox them. They wouldn't do any of that shit. They didn't they did nothing. You know, and it's still going on now. Like they're not prosecuting crimes and it's just ridiculous what's going on. But it's, it's pretty again, it's scary. But th- this is yes. but this is what I need, TJ. When, TJ, when when you when you're another country like Russia, you have guys that watch the news, watch our news, watch our people, have spies. Okay, I know I sound paranoid, but this is the truth. Whoa. They they will watch, and they will sit there and go, look look at these guys, man. Look look at these guys. This is this is per- who's gonna stop us. To go in, right. who's going to stop us? You, right. you, you so, know, you, 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 the sanctions are, are a joke. Listen, the sanctions are a joke, dude. Yeah, but this is, he, he said it today. He said they're not going to stop the flow of oil to to um to no, Germany. But and, listen, if I, I if if I if you need, if you need my help, I, and I sit there and I go, hey, dude, you know what? Uh, Russia's bothering you. But you know what? We're not going to deal with Russia anymore. Uh, you'd be like, dude, why don't you get your ass up here? Uh, do, do you not have a military that could deal with these idiots? Because we do not have a military to deal with these idiots. And if they let them in in 2014 in NATO, as part of NATO, this shit wouldn't have happened. Nope. You know, this shit would not have happened. So, you know, innocent women, children, and men like I saw today, oh, the guys are kissing their wives by, and you can see it in the wives' eyes saying, this is the last time I'm going to see him. He's going to get slaughtered. These guys are going to get slaughtered, going up against a Russian army, a Russian army. Do you know how incredibly powerful, a Ru- as much as we like to make fun of Russia, they have, I think, the third most powerful army in the world. They have an army that is just... Second to none, okay? The only guys that could rock with them is the United States and China, okay? That's it. That's it. They're all involved in it. Those are the three superpowers that are involved in it. So think of China's watching it. So they're going to see the reaction that we have to this because they're planning on going into Taiwan. Oh, fuck, they are. They are. But uh, listen, man. You know, what can we do? We got so many problems over here that have to be dealt with. Exactly. As far that's as an what... invasion, we're being invaded from the southern border. The border's wide open. Fentanyl is flowing into this country at an unbelievable rate. Six kids just died up in, uh, I think it was Colorado. Six of them. Six? One shot. Six kids dead, yeah. They, were, they did coke. They thought it was coke. And it was laced fentanyl. Six of them dead. So, and that's going on. Two deaths in COVID, not even addressed, not brought up on the news, nothing. You know, that is a big problem. Yes, but they're, 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 but TJ, they're watching this. They're watching this. They see, they see the weakness. They see a once powerful country and they sit there and they go, you know what? If we cause shit over here, they got so many problems. It's like if you're getting a divorce from your wife, okay, the, you're not worried about other shit around you, okay? You, you, you got a million and one problems at home. And that's that's what I'm saying, what Russia is doing. Russia, Russia's like, states are screwed. They're, this is the perfect time to nail them. They just had a, they, two years they've been walking around with this pandemic. They're, 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 the people are... are, are, are losing their minds there and a lot of people watch this going yes he is he's lost his mind completely yes i i i knew this was going to happen i told my buddy this over a year ago i go russia's going to invade i don't know what country but they're going to invade somebody and it happened yeah you know i'm not nostradamus nostradamus there's another (laughs) idiot Listen, man, you know, anyway, I'm just a truck, truck guy. No, you're a good man. You're a hard working. You're, you're, you're a true blue blood, man.
you you without you we wouldn't have shit in our, on our shelves okay i know that you put in 60 70 hours a week for a fact dj i know that okay right. you, you work like a dog okay to support your two kids okay and that is admirable okay? no i know listen brother i know you, you're gonna hit the bridge any minute now listen i'll talk to you soon be careful okay Yes, sir. Thank you very much, Vito. I love you, man. I love you too, brother. I'll see. I'll talk to you soon. All I'll right. Reach any truckers. Just show me some any truckers out in Canada. I'm with you guys, man. And uh, let's hope everything works out. You know, let's just hope. Okay. You know? All right, my brother. All right. Love you, brother. Be careful.